You knew the greatest shortstop ever in the history of baseball was who you think? Greatest shortstop ever? Ever. If you're going to start a team, who you want to play shortstop? Maybe Jeter. Yeah, maybe. I'm a Cal guy. You know that. Who? Cal Ripken. CR, yeah, Cal Ripken. There's only one guy you start your team with. Who? His name's Alex Rodriguez. Hmm. He was the third base and only went to Yankees. Right. Yeah. This guy's got 2,000 more RBIs, 2,000 more runs scored, and 697 home runs and golden gloves. Jeter's the winningest shortstop ever. Right. Okay? Talk about Jeter for a moment. I, I, we got some time, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Now, I don't think there's anybody in the country who knows more about baseball than me. I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm just telling you the truth. You're sort of tooting your own horn, but I well, respect well, it. Well, <laughs> name Damn somebody who knows more about baseball. <laughs> exactly. Well, you're Pete okay. Rose. I think you're well, allowed to do that. It has nothing to do with my name. But, uh, but there again, I don't think I could leave this studio today and go run the Reds tomorrow. And I think Jeter's finding that harder than he thought it yeah. was going to be. Mm. He's a great shortstop. He'd probably make a great manager. But running a baseball team is difficult, Michael. You know that. Okay? And the, th the first thing he did when he went there is he got rid, rid of all the salaries. You got to be an owner, right? So why are you worried about the salaries? I understand. Why did anybody ever give Stanton that much money? Okay? I don't know. Uh, D. Gordon's gone. How about the kid from Milwaukee? Oh, yeah, Jones, Jones, he's he's head. MVP. He might be MVP this year again. Yeah. I mean, so it, it takes a different mentality to run a baseball team, I think. And Jeter knows baseball as much as anybody except me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that don't help you as, as making those decisions and, and knowing the tampering rules and all that different stuff. It's not like playing the game. Do you guys have a feeling that? Do you disagree with it or agree with it? Well, I think, and he, he, he's, I think he's hurting his legacy in Miami. The people down there don't like him. He made some unpopular moves, and he got rid of great players. I just don't understand when you got a player as great as him. He's got to have 250 in the bank, right? You would think. Okay. And he just built a 22,000... A square foot home in Tampa with ten car garage. Why do you take a job in Miami? I just think he likes it. I think down he there. wants I think all the challenge. He, he lives in Tampa. It's right. the challenge, I think. Well, Eric Jeter don't need no challenge of managing a team or being a general manager of a team. If he wanted a challenge, he should have become manager of the Yankees. Yeah, but he's part of he's part owner there. I think that was well. That's to him. You got to be in there. Friend of game right. a percentage. Right, right. Yeah, but I just said he's worth two fifty. You need more money. It's like A-Rod. Every time I turn the TV on, A-Rod's oh, But I, I think he enjoys the challenge. I'm not sure how much he enjoys the game. Like you say, you watch every game. Yeah, he, 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 he me was anxious to leave it. I don't enjoy it at all. Because no, but, but you, you, you enjoyed your pat. Like when you, you, they had to drag you off the field. Yeah, like did. I think Derek looked forward to not playing baseball anymore. No, I don't think I so, don't, no. I don't think that's true at all. No, he loved the he, game too much. He didn't like to watch the game when he wasn't playing it. Right. But he yeah. was ready. He would, when he was done, he was done. Oh, A-Rod yeah, told me when he bat. used to go out with Jeter, they couldn't go anywhere where the game was on TV because Jeter didn't want to watch it. Right, right. I mean, that's just and opposite G of me. A-Rod once stayed over Jeter's place, and he said, you have the baseball package? And Jeter yeah. said, what's the baseball package? Yeah. Because A-Rod's a, a baseball yeah. addict. Oh, is that when he went to J Lo's house? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure J Lo has the MLB package. <laughs> Come on, Michael, you're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> I, I know A Rob watches the show, so he's gonna love this. Um, do you like baseball the way it is right now? No, not at all. I mean, uh, do you understand what they're doing? Yes, I'm, I understand what they're doing. Do you like the shift? Everybody, no. Everybody that plays baseball today, as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. is a potential home run hitter. Right. There ain't nobody playing baseball today on a roster that don't have at least one home run. It didn't used to be like that. You got guys now hitting 15, 18 home runs, and they're not even home run hitters. These ballparks today are jokes. I'm telling you. Yeah. I can name you 10, 12, 14 ballparks. Well, the one in you Cincinnati been in Houston? is probably the worst. You ever been to Houston? Yeah. That is a banned box. Camden Yards, that is a banned box. Great American box. Ballpark, too, right? Great American Ballpark. Colorado, Arizona. The balls fly out of these balls. Would you try to hit home runs if you were a player today? No, I, I try to hit the ball hard like I did because line drives are going to go out of the ballpark. Right. All you're doing back is dropping the back shoulder is you're trying to get a tape measure home run. I never seen so many guys with two strikes swing and foul it off or swing and miss it and fall down. They got no, there's no more two strike mind. approach anymore. Huh? There's no more two strike approach anymore. Well. <laughs> Believe it or not, if you get some f f f some two-strike base hits with a man on second, you're going to win a lot of games. Right.